But because of pressure by factor viewers, Pepsi Cola late today capitulated. Ludacris has been fired. For the folks who cry out cancel culture, they sure do partake in it much. Take Atlanta's Ludacris, for example. Now, when accused essayer Bill O'Reilly was still on Fox News, he sparred with many in hip hop. Wait, let me just say, yeah, but it's I'm not about making business. it cool to be a business. It's not about business. It's not about it's business about... for you because you feel like it might give you better no. ratings to portray something negative within the image it of hip hop. It is negative. It, it is negative. It's not negative to sure be a businessman. It's, it's not. It's not negative to take it's care of the economy around you. Negative to make money, Mr. Dash. If you it's, hurt children, how do you hurt children by promoting to be an entrepreneur and a CEO and to do right? I'm looking at a principal. For example, for example. Why are you you're looking at a principal. Why you don't want to let him talk? You mad, you mad, you mad. Where'd you, get from? Where'd you start? Curring the fear, right? No, wrong. Well, you're you looking, you're looking I got at a dirt on you, doggy. Camera. Like Dame Dash and Cameron. The United States is not a bad mean. nation. It's a noble nation. And then you go out there and you talk to a lot of younger people. And this is what gets me. That your constituency okay. are not exactly political science PhDs, okay? They're impressionable well, I kids. Don't think, I don't think that that matters. I don't think you need no, to have a political PhD you, to, Mr. Understand, to understand, they listen well, to to you. understand politics. To understand politics, I don't think you necessarily need that. And I don't think that politics are as complex as people like to make them seem or out to be. Like Chicago's own unequivocal top lyricist. Lupe Fiasco. On Monday night in Washington, rappers Young Jeezy and Jay-Z performed a rant in public that offended many people. He'd go after Jay-Z and Jeezy for saying their president is black. I submit to you that you're going to have to get people like Jay-Z, uh, Kanye West, all of these gangster rappers to knock it off. That's number one. What I think these boys, what these boys need is, po they need positive role models, listen which you me, said. Listen, listen to me, listen to me. You gotta get where they live, all right? They had idolized these guys with the hats on backwards and the, and the terrible rock, uh, rap lyrics and a, and a drug and all of that. You gotta get these guys. And, and I think President Obama can do it. And you gotta put them on TV and a net and they gotta say, knock it off. And many more in the space. On the subject of O'Reilly picking a fight with Ludacris. It was irresponsible of Pepsi Cola. Companies made trillions of dollars in the United States to hire a man to pitch their product, who is, in my opinion, subverting the values of the United States. It all stemmed from Pepsi signing Luda to a deal. Bill was none too pleased with it. He would say, I'm calling for all responsible Americans to fight back and punish Pepsi for using a man who degrades women, who encourages substance abuse, and does all the things that hurt particularly the poor in our society. Of course, the irony in all of this? No spin zone is no more. Bill O'Reilly, the controversial face of Fox News for 21 years, was fired today by the network he helped put on the map. The path to O'Reilly's ouster began two weeks ago with the New York Times investigation, revealing that five women, including guests and employees of his show, had been paid $13 million in settlements involving sexual harassment claims against him over the years. Nonetheless, maybe he should have offered them a Pepsi. O'Reilly's attacks wouldn't stop there. Newsday printed in September of 2004, O'Reilly launching more verbal grenades at Ludacris after learning Anheuser-Busch used his services to host company parties. This was a thing. Newspapers all across the United States of America carrying O'Reilly's words to countless households, and he would not stop. The man's reach was critical. Hosting a top show in cable television and in his columns being printed over and over again. O'Reilly would demand his audience boycott Pepsi. I'm giving you my opinion. It says okay. he's not an artist, he's a thug, and I'm entitled to it. On his radio show, O'Reilly hosted Pepsi spokesman Bart Casabona, who said to him, so you don't really care about his morals or the message that he puts out. And what I'm arguing is that you're legitimizing a man who is demeaning just about everybody and is peddling antisocial behavior. You have no conscious qualms about that. And Pepsi would cave. They yanked Luda's commercial, citing consumer complaints about his obscene lyrics. It was another culture war spearheaded by right wing media and the biggest name at the time, who, by the way, wrote a book titled Culture Warrior. Go figure, right? At the same time, in October 2006, Ludacris's release therapy was number one on the charts. 
O'Reilly would praise his viewers multiple times for canceling Ludacris. In addition, he'd state Americans should let the merchants of bad taste know they're hiring corruptors and incompetence, and it's not acceptable. Capitalism swings both ways. Ludacris would go on the offensive. When number one spot was released in 2005 by DJ Green Lantern, Luda rapped, Respected highly, hi Mr. O'Reilly, hope is well, kiss the plaintiff and the wifey as a nod to Bill's, uh, let's say, problems. In his 2003 track, Blow It Out, Luda Penn, shout out to Bill O'Reilly, I'ma throw you a curve. You mad cause I'm a thief and got away with words. I'ma start my own beverage, it'll calm your nerves, Pepsi's the new generation, blow it out you arse. Of course, through all of this, Pepsi and conservative media did not give a damn that they would put on the likes of Papa Roach or Ozzy Osbourne. It was ludicrous. When asked what he thought of O'Reilly by a Fox News producer, Ludacris said, this is what I think of O'Reilly. If he has children, I'm about to send them an advanced copy of this Disturbing the Peace album we got coming out. I love you. I love the kids. Man, that's how I feel about you, dog. When he won a Grammy for best rap album, Ludacris said in his speech, special shout out to Bill O'Reilly. I love you. O'Reilly would appear on his show shortly thereafter and mutter, well, it's nice to be loved. Pepsi, meanwhile, would donate millions to Ludacris's charity, which reminds us of this. He talks about certain people, but he never thinks that he's going to meet these people in person, mm. uh -huh. let alone the type of events and the circles that he's in. Yeah. That these rappers are going to be sometimes in those same circles. Yeah. So, you know, he he kind of started talking to me about he's heard about a lot of the charity work I've done with the Ludacris Foundation. Uh -huh. So this is how he eased into it. He was like, yeah, man, I hear you do good work. And you know, I think that maybe I should make a donation to your foundation. Oh, so, wow. so look, this is how he got this is how he got me to calm down. <laughs> so I'm like, oh, you want you want to make a you want to make a donation? I was like, well, what do I need to do to make that happen immediately, like ASAP? Uh -huh. He was like, here's my card. You know, what I'm saying, make sure you call me, have your foundation write a letter, and also hit me, and then we'll make a we'll make a donation. Now I can't let everybody know how much the donation was, but at the end of the day, after all of this craziness. Bill O'Reilly ended up writing me a check to my foundation. A surprising twist, however, after the sexual harassment allegations came to light, a source close to Ludacris told Hollywood Life, Bill's so two-faced and Ludacris is glad that everyone finally sees it. He sits at his desk, trashing Luda, Snoop Dogg, and basically every rapper in the game saying their lyrics are disrespectful to women when he's allegedly sexually harassing them. Luda's ashamed of Bill, but mostly feels bad for his ex Maureen and their children. The source continued, Luda has a lot of respect for that beautiful woman, like major respect for her. He applauds her for putting up with that monster of a man. Luda doesn't know any women who could hang in there as long as she did with Bill. They'd add, what goes around comes around. Now Bill's the one who's losing advertising money. Luda hasn't forgotten how Bill's comments about him took money off his table. Bill should just hang it up and stop embarrassing himself on national television. Luda's got a little sympathy for him though and would love to sit back and have a Pepsi with him when Fox pulls the plug on the old timer.